Welcome to this English lesson about conveniences. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about all of the things that make life just a little bit nicer. I'm going to talk about all of the little inventions and techniques and things that can happen in the world that make life a little easier. That make life a little bit more convenient. I thought as I was making this lesson, maybe I could even do a lesson someday on inconveniences. I'm not sure there are enough of them. I'm sure there are but let's stay focused. This English lesson today will be about conveniences. So, the first convenience I have is the washing machine and possibly the dryer. Now, I do wanna say one thing about this lesson. I recognize that things are different in different parts of the world and when you go back in time, things were different as well. I think that uh, the washing machine is a relatively new invention this century um, and it has very much made it easier to wash clothes and if you have a dryer as well, it makes it easier to dry clothes. In English, we say that we're going to do the laundry at least in Canada. So, when we have a lot of dirty clothes in the hamper, we take them to the washing machine and we use the washing machine to do the laundry. Um, we use it to wash our clothes and then we use the dryer to dry them. We actually, I think I've mentioned this in past lessons, we don't have a dryer. We do have a washing machine but we usually hang our clothes on a drying rack outside so that they can dry naturally. It's a little cheaper than running a dryer but I know many people who live in a small apartment they might do their laundry and then hang it up in their apartment or they might have a dryer as well. And if you don't have a washing machine or dryer, you might go to the laundromat. That's a place where you can go to wash your clothes. Contact lenses. So, contact lenses, I don't wear them but I hear they are very, very convenient. Um, they are one of the modern conveniences in life. A modern convenience is something that's been invented in the last 50 or 100 years. Um, many people who wear glasses love wearing contacts instead. Notice I call them contacts. That's kind of the short way to refer to them in English. So, Jen wears contacts. I could also say Jen wears contact lenses and some of my kids wear contacts as well. They wear contact lenses. The only thing that's inconvenient about contact lenses that is that you have to take them out and put them back in every evening and every morning. At least that's what I understand. Um, I don't actually wear them so I don't know. I think yes, they they take them out at night and they put them back in in the morning. Online learning. So, online learning is definitely a convenience. It's definitely something that makes life a little easier. Now, for kids and for myself as a teacher, I prefer in-person learning but for many of you, you are doing some online learning right now. You are learning using the internet. You're either watching this on your phone or on your computer and so, in some ways, you are doing some online learning right now. It's very convenient that I can do an English lesson this morning and people from all over the world um, can watch it. Um, it's very convenient. Um, many, many years ago, this would not have been possible. It would have been impossible but certainly, the internet makes things a lot more convenient. Running water. So, running water is anytime you have water that just comes out of the tap or the faucet when you turn it on. Um, if you think back in time and there are some parts in the world of the world still where there is no running water um, but I know that uh, one of the teachers I taught with, they didn't have, I think they had running water in the kitchen but they still had an outhouse when they had to go to the bathroom. So, in the middle of the Canadian winter when he was a kid, he had to go out of the house if he had to go to the bathroom. So, running water is certainly very, very convenient. And in addition to that, having hot water in the house, having a hot water heater is very, very convenient as well. Pizza delivery. So, this is the one thing that I do not have where I live. When I lived in the city, I actually really enjoyed pizza delivery. I enjoyed the fact that you could just make a phone call and a person would show up at your door within 30 minutes with hot pizza. That was very, very convenient for me when I was a university student. I really enjoyed the fact that um and it 
wasn't very expensive. So, I could make a phone call and for a few dollars, a person would bring a pizza to my door. Um and if you're having a party, you can order a stack of pizzas like this. This person is bringing a whole bunch of pizzas. But pizza delivery is certainly uh one of the modern conveniences in some larger cities in the world. And then, we have this new delivery service in North America, parts of Europe and other places in the world called Uber Eats or Skip the Dishes. I think there's something called DoorDash. There's a number of different names for it but basically, they will bring you food from any restaurant. It costs quite a bit of money but if you uh for instance, were stuck at home for a long time and there was a lockdown, it was possible that you could still get Uber Eats, okay? Or skip the dishes. You might have been able to get food delivered to your house. I have never used Uber Eats or skip the dishes. I have never had food delivered. Um I think I'm too cheap. I think I would rather just go get the food myself or make the food myself at home. I have done this though. Curbside pickup is a new modern convenience. Um it's when you order things in advance from a store or restaurant. Either you make a phone call or you order it using an app and then they say your order will be ready for curbside pickup at 9.30 and then you go to the store and they bring the items to your car or they bring the groceries to your car depending on what you ordered. I have used curbside pickup quite a bit during the pandemic. Uh when stores were closed in this part of Ontario, Canada, most stores and restaurants still offered curbside pickup. So, you could drive your car up to the store or restaurant and a person would come out and bring you your food. It was very, very convenient. Out of season fruit and vegetables. So, I think you'll understand this one uh once I explain it. In Canada, we can buy a lot of different fruits and vegetables out of season. We can buy strawberries in the middle of the winter. That means that we can't grow strawberries in Canada in the winter. We have a lot of strawberries in June and July but when the winter comes, all of our strawberries come from California or Florida. So, it's very nice and very convenient to be able to buy out of season fruit and vegetables and then we have things like bananas which I love. We wouldn't call it an out of season fruit but we would definitely say um it's an imported fruit. So, it's really nice and very convenient to be able to eat different fruits and vegetables from around the world um and to eat them during the winter season when we can't grow them ourselves. Uh let's see here. Fast food. So, as I mentioned in the description, not all of the conveniences are necessarily good. Fast food is very convenient. If you don't have a lunch, you can quickly go to a fast food restaurant and get something to eat um but it isn't necessarily healthy. So, something can be convenient but also be unhealthy. So, um I have to admit that I am guilty of buying fast food every once in a while. There is something really convenient about You give your order or you place your order and within minutes, you have food to eat. So, fast food, definitely a modern convenience. Frozen food. So, in our grocery stores, there is a section called the frozen food section and in the frozen food section, you can buy frozen vegetables um, and things that are probably healthy for you but you can also buy frozen meals. You can buy frozen pizza. You can buy what's called a TV dinner which is a meal in a tray that you just microwave Uh, and so frozen food, they're kind of like pre-made meals and then they're frozen and this is another example uh, of something that maybe isn't healthy for you. Frozen food often uh has a lot of salt in it and maybe isn't the best thing to eat at least not on a daily basis coffee makers. So, coffee makers have evolved over time and now we have coffee makers where you simply put in a little pod of coffee and you push a button and it brews a cup of coffee for you very quickly. Um even older coffee makers were very convenient but certainly the newest coffee makers uh are super convenient. Um you could also say they're very handy. Handy is another way to say that something is convenient. 
Uh, but certainly uh, a coffee maker. We sometimes just call it a Keurig because that's one of the companies that makes this type of coffee maker. Um I actually have a Keurig but mostly I just use it for hot water to make tea. I used to use it to make coffee and it was very convenient but now I just use it to make tea. And then of course, the microwave is super convenient. If you take food to work that you would want that you would like to heat up, it can be very handy to have a microwave at work. You put your food in, um you punch in one minute and you hit start and then when it goes ding, it's done. Um so yeah, um we we have a funny uh uh phrase in English. Sometimes we say, I'm just gonna nuke it for a bit. And I know that sounds like nuclear, like nuclear bomb, but we sometimes in informal English or slang will say, um, oh, I brought uh, a couple hot dogs to work. I'm just gonna nuke it. I'm gonna nuke them for a sec, which means you're going to put them in the microwave. That might be regional. I'm not sure if that's just this part of Canada. Uh but but it is a funny thing to say, I think. There are a lot of different appliances that are very convenient. I don't want this to be a lesson about appliances but things like blenders and mixers and bread machines are all very convenient. In fact, the kitchen is a place where you will find a lot of modern conveniences. You will find a lot of things that have been invented to make life easier. In fact, just having um our new oven, we can tell it to turn on at a certain time of day. Um all of those little things are very cool, very handy and very, very convenient. So, appliances large and small. Bottled water. So, again, not all of these conveniences are actually good. Um if you drink bottled water every day, all day and you don't recycle the bottle, then that's not a good convenience. But it certainly is very convenient to be able to buy bottled water when you are thirsty. If you go on a trip or if you are out and about, out and about, you might be thirsty. Maybe you forgot to bring some water. It's very convenient to be able to buy some bottled water. But please only drink bottled water when you need to um and please recycle the bottles. Please don't throw them in the ditch. When I go for a walk in the morning, there's often uh, empty water bottles in the ditch. So, please recycle the drive through. So, that is not how you spell the word through in normal English. The T H R U spelling almost only shows up in drive through, okay? It's a short form. I always think they didn't have enough money <laughs> to put all the letters on the sign. Um but a drive through is certainly uh very convenient. There are many people in North America that go through the drive through sometimes once a day. I don't go through it once a day. Um and it's a way to buy food, to buy coffee, to buy something to drink um without having to get out of your car. So, if you don't want to get out of the car, um I know it sounds kind of lazy, doesn't it? You go through the drive through, you drive up, you order something. When you get to the drive through window, uh you pay and they give you your food and your drink. So, the drive through is certainly very, very convenient. This is one of my favorite conveniences and that is GPS. The global positioning system is amazing to me. Uh a, f- a few weeks ago, Jen and I had to drive to another city. We had to go to a city that we had never been to before. And it was very nice to have GPS. I used my phone because my phone has GPS on it. Uh and I simply punched in the address of where we needed to go and the GPS app just told us how to get there. So, very, very handy, very, very convenient. Um I think from the question before, um I think it was from Yaroslav. This might be my favorite modern convenience is GPS. I love GPS. So handy when you're going somewhere where you have never been before. Self-driving cars. So, a self-driving car. Um this is a convenience that doesn't really exist yet. Well, it kind of exists but they're testing it a lot, right? Um so, the self-driving car is a car that doesn't need a driver. Someday when I'm old, I think I am going to really, really like self-driving cars. Just the fact that if Jen and I wanted to go to see a movie 
and if I was 75 years old and if my eyesight wasn't good and if I didn't like driving anymore, it would be so nice to just jump in a self-driving car and have the car take us to the movie theater. So, that would certainly be very, very cool. The snooze button. (laughs) So, I'm not sure if you like the snooze button. Uh for those of you that are wondering what a snooze button is, if you set your alarm and your alarm goes off, you can hit the snooze button and you can sleep for another six or seven or ten minutes. So, the snooze button is something I use every morning once. Usually, I push the snooze button once and I sleep for another six or seven minutes and then my alarm goes off again. Um so, definitely the snooze button is another um modern convenience in the world today. So, very, very handy but it can also be a little bit dangerous. If you push the snooze button too many times, you might end up being late for work which isn't fun. The remote control. When I was a kid, the TV didn't have a remote control. So, who do you think um was the remote control? The children were the remote control. So, my dad would say, can you turn the TV up? Can you turn the TV down? So, make it louder or quieter. Can you change it to channel two? Can you change it to channel seven? And as kids, we would run up and we would change the channel. Um but certainly, the remote control when it was invented is a very, very cool thing to have. Um when I am feeling lazy and sitting in front of the TV, um I very much uh like the fact that I have a remote control to turn up the volume or to turn down the volume and to change the channels. Bank machine. In Canada, we call this an ATM or a bank machine. Uh ATM is short for automatic teller machine. The bank machine is very, very handy but I use it less and less. Because I hardly ever need money anymore. I just use my card or my phone to pay for stuff. So, I think the bank machine when I was 16 or 17, the banks started to put in bank machines and it was very, very convenient. I could deposit my paycheck after work. I could take money out on the weekend. That was actually a bad thing because sometimes I spent too much money on the weekend. Sometimes when something's convenient, It also allows you to behave differently and I certainly spent a lot more money because there were bank machines and it was so easy. It was so convenient to just go get more money out. And then online banking is certainly very, very convenient. Very, very handy. Most of the time, I would say 90% of the banking that I do, I do online. I use online banking almost all the time. Even for our flower business, Everything has become digital. It's very rare for us to actually go to the bank to do some banking. We just do it online. Very, very easy. Very, very convenient. And then Wi-Fi. Um maybe second only to GPS. No, maybe this one should be first. I don't even think about Wi-Fi anymore but it is incredibly convenient. In fact, I was in a park the other day and there was free Wi-Fi in the park. Like I was outside. I actually thought that was a little bit silly but at the same time, I found it kind of handy and kind of convenient. But Wi-Fi, the ability to use your computer, the ability to use your phone without plugging it into a wall, without having to connect a wire to it so that you can be on the internet. So, Wi-Fi certainly is very convenient, very handy, um very, very helpful. So, public transit. Anything that you pay to ride on or in is considered public transit. Okay, that's not totally true. Buses, uh streetcars, the subway, the metro, those are all considered public transit and they are very convenient. When I lived in Quebec City, I took the bus everywhere. I found it to be very, very convenient. The reason I corrected myself is because taxis and Uber are not considered public transit. They're considered Private transit? I'm not sure if that's actually a phrase but anyways, public transit is usually run by the government. In Canada, we have something called a convenience store. So, we actually took the word convenience and we that's what we call our corner stores, our small stores that you find in every town um and in your city, you might call it a dairy or a corner store um but we call them convenience stores. In fact, you can see it right there. Avondale food stores, Convenience with low prices. 
they do have it is convenient. You can just run in and buy something quick. Although if you need something like milk, it's usually more expensive. The smartphone, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one but the smartphone has certainly made all of our lives more convenient. Um and especially for me, the ability to communicate with people. I find that very, very convenient. Garage door opener. I do not have a garage door opener. My mom has a garage door opener. When she comes home in her car, she pushes a button on the remote control and her garage door opens and she drives her car straight into her garage. She pushes the button again and the door closes. Very, very convenient. I wish I had a garage door opener but we don't actually park our vehicles in the garage anyways. We our garage is full of stuff. We kind of use the garage for um we do a lot of seating in the garage for the farm. So, it's a little bit full. Air conditioning. So, uh the last few days here in Ontario, Canada, it has been over 30 degrees. Uh there has been a heat warning every day because it's very, very humid. So, I am happy that we have air conditioning. Definitely, it's very, very convenient uh to have air conditioning. It just keeps your house cool and it makes it a lot easier to get things done in the house. So, I put rechargeable and then in brackets anything. Anything that you own that you can recharge instead of buying batteries for it, I find very, very convenient. You might have a rechargeable um you might have a rechargeable shaver like what you have here. Um you might have um a rechargeable toothbrush if you have a um uh, an electric toothbrush. There are so many things in the world now that you can just plug in and charge and then you can use it again without having to buy batteries. When I was a kid, I had a little pocket radio and I was always bugging my parents to buy me a new battery. Um I wish that it had been rechargeable. That would have been really cool. So, anything that is rechargeable is very, very convenient. And then cordless is kind of another way to talk about rechargeable. So, we would call this a cordless drill. You could also call it a rechargeable drill but it's far more common to call it a cordless drill. Um there are so many things now that are cordless. Cordless drill. I have a cordless saw. Um I have a what do I have other things? Oh, I have a cordless weed eater. So, it's like it's what you use to trim um along buildings after you mow the lawn. So, anything that's cordless, I find very, very convenient. And then 24 hour in brackets anything. Anything that's available 24 hours a day. So, here I have the 24 seven emergency plumber. It's very convenient to have a store that is open 24 hours a day. Our grocery store in our town is open 24 hours a day. It's very, very convenient. So, you can go and get something in the middle of the night. When we were younger and when our kids were babies, sometimes you would need something. Um maybe the baby wasn't sleeping um and you needed to run to the grocery store. We would have to wait till the next day but now we have a 24 hour. Uh, there's a lot of things now that are open 24 hours. 24 hour pharmacies are very handy if you need uh, some medicine or something like that. The dishwasher. So, we're talking about uh, some larger appliances. As you know, we don't have a dishwasher. We do the dishes by hand. We wash all of the plates and cups in the sink and we dry them by hand as well but some people love having a dishwasher. One of the reasons we don't have a dishwasher is because there's too many people here. Uh we would need to do two loads of dishes a day. It's easier I think just to wash them by hand. The refrigerator of course, very, very handy. Um they used to a long time ago, I live on a river and they used to cut blocks of ice out of the river and when my parents moved here, there was an ice building where they would store blocks of ice and then they would sell them during the summer. Um but that all ended with the invention of the refrigerator. A very cool modern convenience. I see Judith talking about how I say garage. Yes, I don't say garage. Garage? Garage. I say garage. I think my American friends say garage in Michigan but I say garage. Laptop. The laptop uh, as a computer, very convenient. Rechargeable, cordless. You can use it anywhere. If there's Wi-Fi, you don't have to plug it in. And the battery life is now amazing. My work laptop, the battery lasts all day. 
I know that might seem normal to you but 10 or 15 years ago batteries um the laptops would be dead after an hour or two. So, I'm very happy that now my current laptop um, is very it's very convenient as a teacher. Uber or a taxi. So, Uber is kind of like a private taxi. If you own a car, you can become an Uber driver and people can pay you to get a ride. Um a taxi is usually yellow and it's operated by a taxi company but they do the same thing. If you need to go somewhere, you can call an Uber. You can call a taxi. They come and pick you up. They bring you to your destination and then you pay them. So, very convenient. I think they will be replaced uh, by robot cars though. If not, that might have already started already. The digital camera. So, my very first camera when I was 11 or 12 years old, it was a film camera. So, I could take 12 or 24 pictures um and then I had to pay to get the photos developed. I had to go to a a photo store or a photo shop um and I had to pay someone to develop them and then you would pick them up a few days later. So, it is very convenient to have a digital camera. One, it does not cost any money to take pictures. You can take a thousand pictures and it doesn't cost anything. Uh two, you don't have to wait to see the picture. You can go, you can literally see the picture on the back of the camera as soon as you take the picture. So, digital cameras, super, super convenient. Online shopping. I will be honest, I didn't do a lot of online shopping before the pandemic but now I have become quite happy with online shopping. It's very convenient to just go online Pick the things you need and click um add to cart and then click checkout, pay for the order and then in a day or two, it arrives on your doorstep. So, certainly um online shopping. Online shopping is very, very convenient. Apple Pay, tap, I don't know what you call it in your country but the ability to pay for something, I all I need to do is tap my phone or my card at the checkout and I have paid for my groceries. The ability to pay for things quickly with your bank card or your phone is very, very convenient. Um it can also be a little bit it can be a bad convenience in a way because um I think it's resulted in me eating more um chocolate bars from the vending machine at school because I can just buy something with my uh bank card or my phone instead of uh, having to rummage around in my pocket to see if I have money. I can just buy things whenever I want but certainly um how we pay for things has become a lot more convenient lately. Email is very, very convenient. I know it's not as popular as it used to be. I know that um people text now, sorry, and people tend to message via Instagram or Facebook messaging um or WhatsApp or uh, any of the other big uh WeChat if you're in that part of the world but email for me is still a very convenient way to communicate. I really, really like it. Electricity. I'm gonna end on electricity because to me almost all of the major conveniences in the world, all of the things that I find very convenient usually rely on electricity. So, smartphones, GPS, um almost everything in my list almost probably in some way relies on electricity. So, yeah, I'm just looking over. Electricity is very, very convenient. If you did watch the video that I did with Lucy on her channel, English with Lucy, I talked about how here we call it hydro which is kind of a unique thing in Canada. Um so, I would say You know, I pay a lot for hydro. The hydro bill came in the mail. Um I'm glad the hydro didn't go out yesterday. Um uh did I used a lot of hydro last month. That's very Canadian but generally um we could also use electricity as a word to describe it if we want to. Anyways, electricity is probably the biggest and coolest and best convenience of them all. 